Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Teacher. Chapter 34. So, where are we going? It's kind of a special place to me and Kelly. Oh, really? Why? I'll tell you when we get there. I might have to take you someplace else afterwards. Oh, what does that mean? Why are you doing this? You said you wanted to experience the city of love, right? If romance is what you want, then romance is what you're gonna get, Mia. I'm not sure if I should do this, but really? Can I complain? A good friend, incredibly a good looking guy, wants to show me the romance of Paris and even show me places that are special to him and his family. I feel honored. That sounds amazing, Sam. I can't wait to see what you have plans. I can't wait to show you either. So let's go. Okay, Mia, are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? He playfully whispered in my ear. Um, stop teasing me. Stop teasing me, Sam. Okay, okay. You can open your eyes now. Oh, the Apple Tower. How original. I have to admit, I would love this. Sam, this is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Um, it doesn't be Daryl's hot air balloon. I'm sorry, I have to, okay? It's incredibly beautiful, but I can't help but compare it to the hot air balloon ride Daryl took me on. And to be honest, it doesn't quite beat it. Sam, this place is so beautiful. Our dad proposed to our mother here, which is why this place is special to my family. Wow, I'm honored you wanted to bring me here. Well, I, I think you're special. Despite the warmth of the sun setting, in that moment, I got chills. There was definitely sparks flying all over the place. I felt myself get drawn in. Let's go sit down. I made a reservation for us while you changed. After devou devouring an incredible three-course meal and sipping on a nice rose, Sam looked at me with a crooked smile and lifted eyebrows. What? You have a little chocolate fawn fondue? Is that supposed to be fondue? Chocolate fondue on your chin, you little glutton. Um, play it cool. I know, I was intending to save it for later. <laughs> that so sounds like something I would say. Why? I wipe my chin with my neck confidently. Better not. I don't suppose this is the right place to ask for a doggy bag. I don't think people have leftovers here a lot. I mean, the portion size is... Well, small. The food was amazing. Thank you so much, Sam. Sam leaned back in his chair, not removing his gaze from me. He looked almost blissful. I could get used to this, being here with you, I mean. Um, change the subject. <laughs> I recognize the look in his eyes. He looked at me like Anakin Skywalker looked at Padme and Madal. I don't watch Star Wars. I'm sorry, okay. There was no doubt in my mind at that point that it was the look of someone in love. Um, yeah, how do you think Kelly is doing? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'll go call her before we leave, okay? I might as well check my phone while Sam is calling Kelly. Based on previous choices you made, you may or may not have received a text from someone. I bet you would get a text from Daryl because we're such a good girlfriend. Oh, look at that. You've got one message from Daryl. Mia, I miss you. I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I didn't mean to be possessive. I know we're not. Anyway, I suck at texting. I just wish you were here. I would have loved to apologize to you properly. But that will have to wait until you get home. Take care of yourself. Daryl! Aww. Wow, what a text. I'll have to text back later. I miss you too, Daryl. Kelly is feeling better. She's going to sleep now, though. I told us to have fun and not worry about her. Oh, brother. Okay, good. She's feeling better. Are you ready to go? Sure. Great, then let's move on to the next spot. Oh, I've heard about this. This is where, like, people put, like, a lock on the gate with like their names on it. I've always wanted to go there. Wow, Sam, what is this place? What's the locks? This is Ponce des Arts, Mia. In 2008, people started putting these love locks onto the bridge. They would write their initials on it, lock it to the bridge, and throw the key into the CN River. It's supposed to represent a couple's commitment to each other. That's so cute. I really think that's cute. I would really love to do that, you know? That's really cute. I'm a sucker for romance like that. Sam took a step closer to me as he looked down to his feet. His hands were in the back pockets of his pants and his blazer was open. Sam touched my arm, stroking it all the way down to my wrist where he lightly grabbed it. I felt my pulse accelerate by his touch. It wasn't until he said, Your pulse is beating really fast. 
that I realized that he was holding my wrist to read me and my obvious attraction to him. It was a very smart move. Only a doctor would think to feel my body's reaction to him like that. You're attracted to me? Oh no, I don't know. God, why? I don't know. I mean, I like you, Sam. I feel like we have a connection, but I, I don't want you to think I'm playing you, so I'm going to be honest. I know this is a definite turnoff for you. I know you're a bit old school. I recently slept with two guys, one of them being Daryl. Huh. <laughs> for a moment, he looked at me like I was an ignig- an ignama. Please say something. Mia, I don't care who you've been with. Not even that you've been with Daryl. I care about you as a person. I'm not gonna slut shame you if that's what you fear. I'm all about finding yourself and exploring your options. I might seem a bit old school, but I'm not a virgin myself. I don't care how many guys you've been with. It's not important to me. In fact, I'm glad you're exploring your options. Why? Because then maybe you'd be willing to include me as one of your options. Why does this sound like he's just trying to sleep with her? I mean, does it not? <laughs> the one thing I'm interested in is a chance. Yeah, you just want a chance to sleep with her. <laughs> I could be the bad boy you saw on the motorcycle, or I can be the general doctor who tended to your sprained ankle. I can be whoever you'd like me to be. All I need is a chance. So, Mia, would you consider me? Oh, God. Um... As long as we're clear, I can't make promises. Why are you doing this? Well, as long as we're clear, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't really know anything right now, but I think you're amazing. And I must admit, I felt a connection to you. I'll take that. So I'm just gonna... Oh God, why are we doing this again? Really? Again? Oh, fine. I should have seen this coming, honestly. Sam cut my face with his big, gentle hands and slowly leaned closer to me. He was reading my every move. He wasn't going to do something I didn't want. I looked into his eyes as I watched his switch from looking into my eyes to looking at my lips. I didn't close my eyes until I could feel his breath on my lips, signaling to him that I wanted this kiss. And then I felt his moist, warm lips press against mine. This is so awkward. He was moving slowly, not letting himself get carried away. I placed my hand on his arm, pulling him slightly closer to me. He was still extremely aware of my body language. Our kiss deepened as he felt my hand on his arm. I had never been kissed by a guy who had so much focus on me and my feelings. I was getting completely drunk on him as his odor invaded my senses. He read me like a book. There was no doubt in my mind that he knew exactly what women wanted. <laughs> my needs came before his own, which was what made our kiss so amazing. The cool summer breeze, the quiet city ambience, and the smell of Sam's cologne made this feel like it was taken straight out of a romantic movie. Oh my goodness. Well, Sam had the ability to make me forget about everything. Daryl! Hurtful will everything! In that moment, me and my mind was with Sam and Sam alone. He had short-circuited my brain. This man was not only boyfriend material, he was husband material, daddy material. There was a security with Sam I hadn't felt with Will and Daryl. Will being young and Daryl being scared, Sam was neither of those. Sam was almost perfect. Oh, the trouble we get into. Wow. Yeah. I, this, you, I was lost for words. It was such an amazing kiss. Did I really make you speechless, Madame the Doctor? Um, deny, deny, deny. You're flattering yourself. I don't think I am. Do you have any idea what Kelly might say to this? I mean, she seems pretty keen on us, but I don't want to come in between the two of you. Kelly is cool with it, I'm sure. We've talked about it a few times. Gossiping about the handsome big brother, huh? I think you're flattering yourself again now. Still, don't think I am. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this girl though. Oh look, it's Kelly. So great for you to rejoin us. Yeah, you should have. Of course I should. I was invited to Paris free of charge. I insist on at least paying for your birthday dinner. You're the best, and to be honest, I'm glad to start another French cafe. Not ready for those yet. Haha, ha, it's no big deal. We just say we decided to visit Japan too while in France. Exactly. Enough talking. Open your present. Aw, oh, Mia, thank you. Are you kidding me? Is this the... 
Yes, it's from the brand new collection. Oh, thank you so much, Mia. I can't wait to try them on. Brand new collection of what? It's earrings for her favorite brand. I seriously, those two. I seriously, those two. Okay, really? I remember that. Did I miss something yesterday? Kelly's ocean blue eyes gave me her infamous wanna confess something look. This is it, I gotta tell her. I can't keep this from her, he's her brother. Oh, steady my heart. Why do I have the feeling she won't like it? Okay guys, that wraps it up for this episode. You know what to do, like, comment, and subscribe. And yep, okay, thanks, bye.